for the life of our pastor is Satyam. Let's thank God for his protection. Let's thank God for his presence in this ministry. Let's thank him. Let's bless him. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Stand up once again and let this man be shouting it for us. Hallelujah! 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 Amen! Put your hands together for Jesus. 
Amen. I welcome you all in the name of God. Amen. Amen. I welcome you all because of time. I will just mention, welcome somebody because of time. Let's rise up. It's one of our fathers. No, daddy, you sit down now. <laughs> I can be so stubborn at times. I'm very sorry. I only invited him two days ago for you to know how busy I am. And he said he will be here. I was surprised. Hallelujah. If you put my age and my wife age together, it's not up to your first daughter. <laughs> the Lord will continue to honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's put our hands together for Pastor Abraham. You're welcome, sir. Have your seat. Amen. Amen. Anyway, we leave this for another time. Put your hands together for past services. Elizabeth Akinemi, God bless you. God laid it upon my heart to worship. I was going to be 40. And God laid it upon my heart strongly to worship. So I told my husband that I would do 40 sessions of praise, short praise sessions that put it online. And sometimes we have to join in. Sometimes <laughs> To help me thank the one who is behind me, the one who backs me up, the one who does everything good. I'm talking about his faithfulness. You are not here to celebrate my achievements, but I don't have any. You are here to celebrate my father in heaven, and I hope you are ready. Because all I need from you today is to give praise for your heart. about me, you may think that I was born from a generation of Christians. No. My grandfather was an Ogun. How God will look at somebody like me? And he will look around and point to me. When I look at the man I married, my husband said, God is calling us. I said, ah, is it that God does not have other people? Or is it that there are not enough churches around? But I know that He has been merciful. It is only by mercy. Oh, 
when the enemy came threatening, I was told in that dream means a lot. And the song says, Ah, oh, Luda, de Ashe. 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 Because she was so much in the when the darkness won't threat me, you are the one who silenced them. Thank you. And the other one that I always seen when the enemy came knocking, wanted to take my two, my husband's two eyes me. I see our photos. There's another song. And the song goes to us. And I want to say this God is just to me. Sometimes I call him my king. Sometimes I call him my lord. And sometimes I call him my savior. But sometimes I don't even know what to call you. But you are miraculous. Hallelujah. Hope you are ready for Thank <laughs> you. 
They are meant to collect on your head and dash you to an old man. And that was not an exaggeration. That was what the enemy marked for me. That was the plan. Yes, that they had. It was sealed, it was settled. For God unseal it. Not just me and my younger sister. Yes, it was just a few years. And it would have been, it would have been fake. So sometimes when I'm alone, I do think, God, I don't know how you brought me here. Oh. I don't know how you did it. But all I can say is thank you, Shah. Because when I I know what I've walked. It is nothing. And that is the truth. Which is why you are here today. To tell my helper on my behalf, thank you. Because he has been good. He has been good. He has known you are feeling what is wrong in here. But you are, it's just today. You are coming back next year because it's going to be here. Amen. 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 Thank you. 
like a way out at that moment. So I don't know how to thank God sometimes. sometimes I, I believe that sometimes when I'm coming from work and people who stops at the traffic light, some of them used to wind down and look at me like the shima. Because I'm normally coming in the morning when people are going and they are not happy. So I walk up my song and I will be singing at the top of my voice. So sometimes I do get the look of is she okay? But you know when I'm alone, I do think about what God has done. And I know that I'm not deserving. That is why you're here today. It is not a party. It is praise unto our God. It is you helping me, telling that my helper. The one who helps me. To say the one you have helped is back to say thank you. Hallelujah. And I've, I've been saying this. I don't know whether God wants to raise people to praise him more. But this thing has been coming to my mind. How is it that we have prayer warriors, but we don't have praise warriors? We need praise warriors. We need those who can raise praise. Just praise. Because 
God work wonders when we praise Him. Hallelujah. Yeah. So we are going to round up. It's only 47 seconds. My Jesus, my Savior, oh, to do. I believe some people want to talk about the celebrant. If you want to talk about the celebrant, raise your hand. No? Ah, that's good. So we'll take that off. You want to talk about your mom? You can do that too. Okay. okay, we have one. Any other person? Papa, you will do that in your message. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have message. I will pray for the family. Okay. We have two, two minutes because of time. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Please, let's stand up. I want us to pray. The prayer will be in two ways. I know you are here with anointing and power. I trust you. You will pray for us. And the church will pray for us too. Psalm 105. Psalm 105. Let my family live down wherever you are. Children, please go on your knees and tell the right. Church, please pray for us. If we love this family, pray for us. Psalm 105, verse 14 and 15. You are going to say, according to your word. According to what? To your word. Psalm 105, verse 14. He permitted no one to do their own. Only if you know what we are going through. Ministry is not a joke. To nine, yesterday's stroke this morning, they caught on my body. They caught me head different. I woke up and I what is going on here? And they told me, you deliver someone that we want to kill. They want to take my eyes. A lot of things, but God gave me what? Whenever I have the word of God, mm -hmm. I don't care. No matter what they try, they can't succeed. Yeah. That's why you are not... Anyway, let's leave that. He permitted no one to do them wrong. Yes, he rebuked kings for their sake. Verse 15. Saying, do not touch my anointed ones. 
and do my prophets no harm. That's the word the Lord gave me. Please pray for us if you love us truly. We are praying for you and we know what is happening. So pray for us according to your word. Father, protect this family. Amen. Never allow the hand of the enemy to prevail over them. Just go ahead and bless us. Remember, whatever a man sow is what a man will reap. Whatever any man sow is what you are going to reap. There are enemy within, there are enemy without. Whatever you say is what you are going to reap. Pray for us. According to your word, he permitted no one to do them evil. No one. No one will do me evil. No one will do my wife evil. No one will do my children evil. The hand of enemy will not prevail over my life and my ministry and my marriage. Unless I'm not serving the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Unless I depend on something else. Unless I have alternative. In the name of Jesus Christ. Saying, do not touch my anointed ones. And do my prophet, my minister, no one. Just bless us. Bless the celebrant. Father, protect my family. Let your hand be upon us. Ever than before. Say that word. Don't allow the hand of the evil one to prevail over this family and over this ministry. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. We are praying it. it is done in the name of Jesus Christ. Because I know whenever church pray, God answers. It was church that prayed for Peter. And Peter got his deliverance. Keep that secret. Whatever you are going through, what is beyond you, ask the church to pray for you. If it's because of somebody, God will answer. That prayer has been answered in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray. I pray, I pray. Don't worry when I'm doing this, I know what I'm doing. I pray with covenant. I pray with calling. For those of you who are serving God here genuinely, my God will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever is out to destroy you, if they will not repent, they will destroy themselves in the name of Jesus Christ. None of us will bury our children. You will not bury your wife. Amen. Your wife will not bury you suddenly. Amen. And this means we will not collapse. Amen. I can see the glory ahead of me. That glory will manifest in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Pray for me that the Lord will renew my strength. Last week, pray that God will renew my strength. The Lord renew his strength. Please pray for me. Renew his strength. Renew my strength. The strength of my family be renewed. Those who wait upon the Lord, God will renew their strength. Renew our strength, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. One more prayer. Revelation 11 12. Or 12 11. I believe it's 11 12. They overcame yeah. by the word of the Lamb and by the word of the testimony. If you are going to plead the blood of Jesus over Emmanuel, Adi, Emi, family, and this ministry, when I see the blood, the enemy will pass you over. Just go ahead and call the name of Jesus and plead the blood of Jesus. Go ahead and pray for us. Children, be saying amen and be celebrating. We plead the blood of Jesus. Lord, put your mark upon us. The mark of victory. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Put your hands together for Jesus. And have your seat. God bless you. We welcome Minister Grace. God bless you. Let's put our hands together from redeemed sea water. 
You are blessed. You are still going to sing for us. Hallelujah. Five, ten minutes. By the grace of God. And minister to your seat. You are welcome. Let's clap for our Amen. So quickly, let's talk about the celebrant. After that, we listen to the word. Papa will pray for us. Then other minister will minister in song. Who will go first? You leave our tomb. You come down. It's Tokyo. You try and understand. It's really can be funny at times. Mike, please. Praise the Lord. So I see it is uh, an honor to celebrate our pastor, Mrs. Elizabeth. The first time I met her, she does she didn't know me and I didn't know her. Sure. So my husband just gave me a description of this place and I came in. The way she embraced me, gave me a seat, and like I felt at home. And over those few months, I've related with her, and I've seen a woman who is sold out to God. Amen. Like, I know what it means to run a ministry back home, but here, running a ministry that is not sponsored by, how do I put it? Um, like, not like a big commission that is sponsored from any other country. This is just a family that yielded themselves to Christ. And I believe that without her, pastor wouldn't have gone this far. Yes. It's because of her full support. And for a woman to yield herself to this extent is not something we just get ordinary. So I want to be shake off for her conviction, which I've seen in her children. As small as glory is, you will see that emblem of light. We see that it's not something that she just does to please people. It's within. And she has inspired me, and I believe she has inspired a lot of people. So today I joined the host of heaven because I've seen a woman who is fulfilling purpose. Amen. A woman who is making global impact. Yes. It's not just in excess. A woman who is touching lives. Because in the destinies of these children that have been touched daily, they are going all over the world. And I believe that her impact in their lives will speak even in years to come. Amen. So, mommy, we celebrate you. We say, may the Lord strengthen you, Amen. increase in anointing, Amen. empower you, shield you and your household, Amen. and there shall be no loss. Amen. The number of your years you shall fulfill, Amen. and everything that has been written concerning you and your family shall be fulfilled Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Church to more beautiful years and fulfillment in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus. Who's next? Okay, just two people, then Christy. Anyone else in the conversation? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I just want to bless the name of the Lord for the life of our mommy here. She's a sister, you know, I call my sister from another mother. Mm -hmm. You know, when I came into UK, I don't know anybody. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. But when I came in here, you know, there was a time I was going through some things and God really used that for me. She's a woman of path and impact. She might not give me money, but the advice she gave and the support, it really, it goes a long way. She's a blessing to our generation. I don't know if anybody has felt that impact, but whenever you come in contact with her, you always have something new. And once I have that word, it keeps me going. In fact, I can use that word for the whole week. And I and I kept receiving the blessing of God. Like when I said this when I said, wow, you are a generational blessing. And God will continue to bless you. You will fulfill destiny. You will fulfill purpose in life. You will finish well and you will finish strong. And all the seed that the Lord has given you, wherever they go, they will become a mighty nation in the name of Jesus. You are unstoppable. And your family too is unstoppable. And you will get there by the mighty hand of God in Jesus' name. God bless you greatly. Jesus, Hallelujah. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before I speak, can I just ask for another round of applause for our beautiful <laughs> I'm still wondering if his 42nd birthday or 20th birthday. Yeah. So, I've known the celebrant now for about 18 years. <laughs> I can say that truly she is a woman of God. And that's not me just saying that as a child, because you can you can see who's doing it by service, and you can see who's doing it genuinely, and she's doing it genuinely. Like my dad said, the enemy didn't want this to take place today. Even me, if it not for God, yesterday I would have been in the hospital. But today, we're here to praise his name, we're here to celebrate my mom, and we thank God that no evil has come to pass in her life. Like she said today, she she knows where she's come from, and from the little that I've been told and I've seen, it's only God that's brought her this far. And she's making so much of an impact in the life of her family, in this ministry, in the wider community. And I just want to say, we love you, mom. Thank you. Happy birthday. And that God will continue to take you from your Amen. continue to manifest himself Amen. in his life. God will continue to make a name out of himself Amen. in your life. He will uphold you, he will strengthen you, he will give you the strength to continue to do his work. Have an amazing day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Anyone else before we move on? Mike. Mike, please. Um, I just wanted to say a couple of things to my lovely and beautiful sister. She looks amazing today. Yes, I did that makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't known her very long, but I've known her outside of church, and I and I just wanted to to speak for that particular reason because sometimes I'm sure most of you know her as your pastor and as the mommy of this house, but I've known her. I knew her outside of church before I even knew how far she was in her journey with God, and I was like. Like most of you have said, as soon as you meet her during practice, beyond even um, being a woman of God, her gentleness, her kindness, um, and just how, you know, late, you know, how could I say, just how chilled out she is as a person, you know, and those are the things that I admire a lot about you, and I, I think the impact that you're making beyond this ministry in the wider community in every individual's life it's it's beyond what you even know or understand yeah. you know and god guides you to people for a reason the people that just need peace just being around you is peaceful is good enough you know and i wanted to say one thing that you should always remember that god is the rewarder so for every little thing that you do i i love god just as much but when you work, you you walk with God, or you're in the journey of ministry, like you said. My husband and I too, we, you know, we're in the same, you know, in a different church, but in the ministry work, and it is tough. It is very, very tough. But one thing you keep in your mind for everything that you do, you do it for God, and He is the rewarder of every good thing and everything that you would need here on earth and beyond. He is. And I want you to understand also that he will reward you for all your mm -hmm. kindness. Yeah. I see you being so kind to people, even in the words, in the gifts, whatever it is that you do, God remembers all those things that you do and he will reward you accordingly. Amen. So I pray a blessing over your family. I continue to pray for all of you. You're all loved. I mean, my daughter here. <laughs> Glory, I call her my daughter because she looks exactly like my daughter, acts like her, everything. There's so many similarities. And I continue to pray for you, and you stand and you stand strong. There's Amen. nothing that you do for God that you know falls to the ground. Never. Okay, so you're on the right path, and may God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Anyone else? All right, let's bow down our head. Michael, okay, one minute. Sorry.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I wouldn't say too much. That's uh, small. Yeah. But, <laughs> um, I don't know what to say. I mean, 43 years, you can see the grace of God in your life. Yeah. I mean, if God has preserved you, God has lifted you these past two years, to, to still be exuding this much grace, this much confidence, after 42 years, and after three children, and we haven't made it easy. Yeah. <laughs> and then we stressed you out. I still stress you out. <laughs> Thank God you confessed. <laughs> it just shows God's plan for you. It shows how much God has lived you and where you're from. Mm -hmm. So, happy birthday, Mom. We love you. Oh. Oh. Nobody can stress me out. <laughs> okay. I only do that to the abortion. Oh, no, Let's bow down our head and talk to God. Say, Father, impact me with your word. Impact me with your word as your servant is coming to give us brief words and pray for us. Lord bless me. Impact me. You can come, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Generation after generation. You see, we don't have to shout. Just, just, just love the Lord. Amen. 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 Generation after generation. Keep, keep praising you. Yet you are. Praising the Lord and leading us, dancing and glorifying Him. Actually, when I when I when I came in and I didn't recognize you, honestly, I didn't. <laughs> so you did a good job. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Honestly, I, I want to appreciate every one of us that made time to come, all the ministers from the ministries and all that. 
Don't you just love it that we are an army of occupation? Occupy till I come. Hallelujah. Yeah. We are occupied. And so the Lord has given us privilege and honor to be in Colchester. And all of a sudden, we, are, we have taken over. Hallelujah. We have taken over. Amen. 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 And the Lord is so honored. I'm telling you. Your life is such an, a, a great example. Mm. You, you, you know, those of us who have had the privilege and the honor to know this young woman of grace. He's man of grace. Yes, He's a woman of grace. Yes, <laughs> Daughter of grace. Yes, Amen. 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 Don't you enjoy do, do you enjoy Jesus? Yes, do, you, do you love him? Jesus is sweet. Amen. Amen. You just, just enjoy him. Eh? Hallelujah. Amen. And you can sit down here. Please, please come. Look, look, sit here. Amen. Amen. It's so beautiful. You know, like I'll say, from the depths of my heart, and I, I believe that Pastor and Pastor Mrs. and everyone in the family appreciate you so much. Amen. Someone else wants to come. She's trying to get to Pastor, don't worry. <laughs> you can come. You're right there. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so you see, you see now, when it, when it comes to Abraham, go to now, you see. Pastor said, uh, I have a message. Have I have a message. I always have a message. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So I am, I don't know, I'm so thrilled and I'm so, so, so glad to know that in this Colchester, look, look, look at it, look at it. And beyond, of course, the other brother. You know, in the Bible study, I, I used to see your face. So you are the one, aha, you see. So I know small, you see. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I think it's, it's our sister who spoke about generation. Amen. It's a generational blessing. It's a generational blessing. Amen. Amen. And I know there are preachers amongst us and everyone else. Who loves the Lord, you know these things. Eh? So, if we don't speak by inspiration, if we don't speak by the Holy Ghost, then <laughs> we're in trouble. Amen. Amen. And so, we all know what the number 40 means. So, our sister has reminded us generational blessing. So, this, I, I believe, Ma, that this is a transition point, you know. One generation, and then you are entering another generation. Amen. And look at what God is doing already. Amen. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Can you see what God is doing already? Hallelujah. Listen, I, I believe that there's a sister behind who spoke. Please, if I don't describe you by your title, don't, don't forgive me. Uh, praise the Lord. Well, you, what you, you spoke, you know, and talked about life after. And I'm sorry, like outside divine assembly. Yes. I'm telling you. <laughs> we've been out, we've been out to this in, in this community. And what God is doing through this young lady. Oh my word. You see, it's easy for us to talk Nigerian, Nigerian. You understand? <laughs> we are all the same, the same. But look. When God now grants you favor, cuts across color and inclinations and so on and so forth, you should see this lady in 360. Hallelujah. You know 360, don't you? Yeah. You should see her. You should see the people. The people, the respect that she commands. Yes. And excuse me, please. Do you think she picked it on the wayside? Yeah. It's Baba. Mm -hmm. It's Baba. It's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Amen. Remember, you said that this place is just too small now. God will do more. Amen. But the, but the truth is that God will, God will not leave this place. He will still give a deposit here and then you know, do other things. Amen. And, and really occupy the entire place. 
community and beyond. Amen. To the glory of his name. Amen. 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 It's not a day to preach, but please mark generation. Generation. Amen. Amen. Generation. <laughs> Remember that there was need for God to do a lot of cleansing before the next generation. And the scriptures say that, and you know, some of these things we don't want to hear. We want to hold here, but the truth of the matter is that our God is a God of character. Our God is a holy, 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 holy God. Our God is a righteous God. So there are two words. That generation, eh? and then God came to the point where there was need for him to cleanse the entire, the entire system and then enter a new, a new generation. There was need for cleansing. So I just bless the Lord that we are rejoicing. We are, we are giving praise to God. We are knowing who he is. But then we also remember that salvation, somebody said just recently, that salvation is a miracle of a moment. And that's true. I gave my life to Jesus when the word convicted my heart. And then I said yes to the Lord. That was positional. But then, the life after salvation, my walk with God, is a labor, is the labor of a lifetime. The labor of a lifetime. And I, that, that's why I love these young people. You know, sometimes we speak when he's on the train, <laughs> when he's at work, and so on and so forth. There's so much that is going on in their lives. And this great work that God is doing. It's a movement. It's a movement. It's a movement. The second word I want to just drop is, remember the first word is generation. Please forgive me, I'm a teacher. <laughs> the second word that I want to drop is altar, 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 altar. You see what is going on here? It's, it's an altar. This is an altar, praise the living Jesus Christ. And this altar is speaking. The altar is speaking. Speaking into the university, speaking, touching lives there. Speaking in the community, the altar is speaking. And that's why it must be held sacred. Praise the living Jesus Christ. An altar is be yeah. The altar, sir, is beyond you. It's beyond you, man. It's beyond, it's beyond you. The truth of the matter is this, that even when Abraham has been taken, the altar will continue if Jesus tarries. Amen. 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 So this is an altar, the altar of the Lord. Remember the first one that was put in place was by Noah. What, what, what happened? No stories. It was actually a celebration, man. Just like we are celebrating today. You know that what, what just took place here is for the two minutes. It's an altar set unto the Lord. Set unto the Lord. And you know, God is so wonderful that you will say that it's a continuous thing. That next year there will be another. What, what will, is, will it be a new altar? No. What will it be? It will be firing the old altar, firing the old altar, pouring oil like libation, yes, which was stolen from the kingdom anyway. Praise the living Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Where are you going, sir? Sir? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No, 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 so I can't talk. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Thank God. Those two words, generation. In my generation, O Lord, and beyond. You enter your class, you enter your lecture room. 
You are a generation there. Are you started? Radilemos Otopolia. Wherever you stand, wherever you stand, whether you are on the bus, the train, wherever you are, generation, a unique generation, a unique generation, a unique generation, an army of occupation. Thank you, living Jesus. Thank you, living Jesus. Thank you. We celebrate this generation. And we look forward, oh Lord God, to other generations, oh Lord. We thank you for generations to come that will do better than this, oh Lord. Do beyond us in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you and honor you, Lord God. Ashka tapaye, rebos putaya, linge debo, deposits, deposits, deposits of Oh Lord God, of resilience and character, deposits my Lord and my King. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I had, I had, I had, um, Pastor Mrs. You know, talk about all the encounters that, that she had, you know, with the Lord. Encounters. May God never leave you, Amen. even as he has promised. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. I'll be with you always, even unto the end of the ages. So that Abraham too can boldly declare, the Lord is my helper. What can man do unto me? May the Lord never leave you. Amen. Wherever you are in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. you will be wherever you are an army of occupation Amen. for him Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You are representing him, representing righteousness and purity and holiness. You are representing the Godhead wherever you are. May it always be so in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Even as our mother in the Lord points us to it, shows us how to do it. Don't did you see when 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 daddy said, family, kneel down? Was it easy for them? Uh, was it easy for them to kneel down? It wasn't easy for them to kneel down anyway. Praise the living Jesus Christ. I said, praise the living Jesus Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus that every family represented here, in the name of the Lord, that the Lord would give wisdom. Amen. Wisdom to raise Amen. the children Amen. properly in the mighty name of Jesus. Another kapaya, this society, darkness, the world will not steal the seed of will not steal the seed of righteousness Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The seed will be established, the seed will stand tall, the seed will occupy in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody in this house shout hallelujah. hallelujah! Father, we thank you for the altar. Ay, 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 ay. The altar that burns, the fire on the altar never goes off. Just lift your voice, pray in the Holy Ghost for a Fire! 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 The altar of this place. The candle of divine assembly. That candle, that light, Kalabadaba, will always burn brighter and brighter in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And you saw so we we spoke, we've spoken about Pastor Mrs. Of course. In speaking about Pastor Mrs., we are actually speaking about our pastor. Our pastor also. Praise the living Jesus. Do you see? Do you see what happens now? Anytime you come in here, it's like coming into to first and foremost, the first time you came in, because there's a candle here that is burning. You came in, took your own candle to take light, and then you went out to shine. And you continue to shine Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. And look at this, my brethren. This candle here would not be crowded out. Amen. Did you hear that? Did you? It will not be crowded out Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. How would it be crowded out? Because 
We will be putting fuel continually. Amen. 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 Please. If, you know, pastor said, pray for us. Pray. I pray. Apostle Paul said, pray for me. Pray for me. So I want to believe, I want to believe that on our prayer list, I know we have quite a lot of things there. Oh, Lord, do this for me. Lord, I give you three months. I give you two days to do this for me and so on. Please put it there. Also, pray for pastor and pastor and the family. Please pray for them. Because you know the scriptures too. I told you before. Even the ones you don't know, you Google them. So there's no problem. Praise the living Jesus Christ. So the scriptures are there. Just touch the shepherd. And what will happen? The flock will scatter. But it, it will never be so concerning yes. this place. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want the living to be Amen. 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 Just lift your hand and wave to Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I love you. For your mercies never fail me. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. That's the love of God. Yeah? That's the love of Him. Yeah? I love you, Lord. For your blessings never fail me. All of my days, I prepare the From the women of the and all my life, you have been faithful. And all my life, you have been so, so good. Every Thank you so much, sir. We bless God for your life. He's one of those we look up to and keep showing us how to serve God truly. How to do it right. You will not fail, sir. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, everyone. I know I'm too little to invite you, but you are here to honor God and the Lord will honor you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I'm going to invite my friends who are here today. They are ministers in, in uh, songs. And they're going to come and praise God because of time. And the children, so children are not um, yet done from school. So we can round up on time. So I will first of all call uh, Mr. Maliska. I don't know whether she's ready to come and lead us for three minutes. If you are still getting ready, you can call somebody else. Okay. I will call... Minister Grace Bedding. My daddy and mommy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another year to say thank you, Lord, for all you have been doing in this world. Together we are here again. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Pastor Emmanuel and Pastor Lucifer. Thank you. Thank you for standing for Jesus. It's not easy, but I know with God there is no impossibility in Him. As He has called you, my prayer for you is that the Almighty God will strengthen you and might in the inner man. Amen. As you work for Him, the Lord Himself will back you up. Amen. He will lead you by His Spirit. Amen. Every battle belongs to Him. Just hold your peace. Be still and see what God is about to do. And we know this place is just a starting point. God is taking it to higher ground. Amen. And I'm glad that I'm also part of you to celebrate you as my brother and my sister. And my name is Grace. Good to see you, girl. Mike, I salute you. Praise the Lord. I wrote this song for one of my pastor friends. He says, The Lord is good. Hallelujah. But, Auntie Grace, it's morning. There's a song that I want to sing to you or for you today, just for the day. Hallelujah. Ah, Father, we bless you. Father, we bless you. Jehovah, over to you, has done me well. Jehovah overdue, he has done me well. Jehovah overdue, he has done us well. Jehovah overdue, he has done us well. He has turned our body. To the sea, Jehovah overdue, he has turned us well, he has changed our story, he has done us well, Jehovah overdue, he has done us well. You know, the Bible let us understand that we will rise and shine. Our light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. My prayer for you, my sister. I want to sing, but I feel I need to pray. I want to sing, but I want to pray at the same time. Father, we want to thank you. We want to thank you because you will let us understand that nobody that put their trust in you is ever put to shame. As you have called Elizabeth, Father, you took away her reproach. Zachariah didn't know what to say because you wanted to surprise him. Father, my prayer for my sister and my brother, the head of the home, is that Lord you surprise them real good in the name of Jesus. As you have brought men and women to surround them, Lord, clothe them with your fire. Embrace them with your mighty hand of righteousness. Amen. Above all, Lord, I pray that you are the lifter up of their head already. But Lord, we know, as Pastor Precious, you are a generational God. You that began a good work in them, Jehovah God, we know you perfect all that concerns them. Amen. Father, I don't know what the desires of their heart is. That indeed your miracle was in yes. There is absolutely nothing you cannot do. Mm. Father, there is nobody that put their hands in your hands that you led astray. Mm. You said they will hear a word behind them. Mm. This is the way they should go. Mm. From now on, Jehovah God will pray. Oh, God. Father God, the Lord God Almighty, as you have called them and you are leading them by your spirit, yes, Father. Let your ears, your spiritual ears, be wide open Amen. to hear you loud and clear yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. They will not be silenced, Father. Amen. Their hands will not hang down. Amen. Their head will not bow. Amen. But Lord, you will lift them up from glory to glory. Hallelujah. From grace to grace.
praise you. Let your mercy speak for them when they cannot speak for themselves. About God, we pray that your favor will usher them, Father God, before the great of Amen. Father, we just want to say thank, thank you, you, Lord. We are the ones that you have saved. Yes, Lord. We are here to say yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jehovah, over to Lord, you have done us well. Yes, Lord. Everybody in this place celebrating today, Father. Yes, Lord. We don't know what is in their heart, yes, what their sighs are, their secret tears. Yes, Jehovah God, who sees in secret, yes, answer them openly. Amen. Give them a testimony. Lord, you are the Father God who overcame the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Let them have a testimony to say, in yes. this, the Lord has been. Father, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, glory. In Jesus' name, we have worship. Hallelujah. Thank you, Ma. I will invite Mr. Toyosi. She's a sister. I've known her for nearly 10 years. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. It's my pleasure to be here this evening. And I celebrate you. You know how much I love you. You know, for me to be here this evening, it is just by the grace of God. Hallelujah. And it's really a privilege to celebrate you. You're looking good. Thank you so much, Pastor, for allowing her to serve God. I'm just using you as a point of contact to every single lady that are here today that you will not miss it in Jesus' name. Amen. And for all our children that are aspiring to get married, you will not miss it in Jesus' Amen. name. The Lord will choose for you Amen. as mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. One of the Bible passages that the Lord gave me for you, I've not been able to talk to you today. I'm very sorry for that. You know, it's, uh, it's in the book of Joshua, and it says that every promise that the Lord said to the house of Jacob, the Lord fulfilled every promise. He didn't withhold any of his promise. I pray for you tonight that the Lord will not withhold any promise concerning your life in Jesus' name. And I'm going to sing a song. It's titled, This is Your Season. You are moving from this place to a bigger place. Amen. Your next birthday is going to be bigger Amen. and better in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, the man of God that speaks this evening said, You're a generational blessing. And I follow my sister. I said, You're a generational blessing. The Lord will continue to use you. You will continue to be relevant. Amen. The word of your mouth, the Lord will season you. You will not feel God. You will not feel destiny. In the name of Jesus. This is your season. 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 And you rejoice. You've been saved and have a new life. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. This is your time to rain and shine, and you will rejoice. You'll be saved and have a new life right now. This is your season, and you will rejoice. That part is you are unstoppable, you are unmovable. You are unbreakable, you are unshakable, you are unstoppable, you are unmovable, you are unshakable, you are unstoppable, because this is your season, you will rejoice in Jesus' name. Another song I'm going to sing for you tonight is called, Your Latter Will Be Greater Than Your Past. It doesn't matter what you've experienced in the past, 
It's a new season for you. Amen. Your love will be greater than your past. You will be blessed more than you could ask. That's part of all I've been done to you. Your best is yet to come. Your love will be greater. Your love will be greater. Your love will be greater than your past. Your love will be greater than your past. Your love will be greater than your past. Hallelujah. Amen. I 
Thursday, people will go to work. That means for you to be here, you find time. Thank you so much. The Lord will bless you and honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for coming. We appreciate you. Let the end of the welfare go and bless the food. Please don't rush home. If you need to go take some food, if you want to, we are here till 10 11. I'm upset. I went to go and bring my brother. So we are still going to dance. Oh, is that too much? Amen. Papa, come and share the grace with us. Thank you so much. Oh, hey, the power of Jesus. generation and generations to come. Thank you, Lord, for your son and your servant. Yes. The one that you've raised here and used them to set up this altar. We thank you for their lives. We thank you for everyone, the body of Christ that is here today. We bless you, Lord, because the body Oh God, ministers to itself, Lord. Every need of the body is met in this body, oh Lord. We thank you, Father. Thank you. Glorify your name because there are people, there will never be a vacuum. No, 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 my Lord. As people move on, other people will just enter in and it shall be so in the name of the Lord Jesus. And no one, oh God, will be idle Amen. in the mighty name of the Lord Amen. Jesus. No one will be a spectator. Amen. Everyone is engaged Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I will decree your fire. Your fire keeps burning on the altar Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please turn around and shake hands or do something to someone and just bless them. Amen. And get ready to enjoy the food. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>